Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna use this little plot of land I have here uh, in between our Santa village uh, and our, yeah, basically our main building and then uh, a road of nothing. Um, but uh, I, I wanted to build something in here, of course. Uh, I hadn't planned anything uh, particular, but after I couldn't find a donkey thing fitting for Madagascar, I still really wanted to use a donkey. So I decided to use this plot of land here. So we have a donkey which belong on Madagascar, which we have uh, inside. And then when you go outside, we have a donkey which pulling that together. And then I chose this uh, North American standard donkey which is dom domesticated and at the same time it can take the coal which were a really important feature in this uh, comparison. It is however also a big plus that I thought about this Santa village and I needed something to pull the rest of the story here together and I wondered we have this giant sleigh in here but I thought in December it would be wonderful if uh, Santa could uh, drive uh, children around or everyone around in small uh, slates. Uh, probably smaller than the one I built, but just small slates. Give them a tour around the zoo, zoo that way. Uh, make some extra money on that and uh, the donkeys would be perfect for that. Just telling the story that our reindeers need to save their energy for Christmas, uh, so therefore Santa have some extra um, donkeys. I, I personally think it would be a quite magical uh, thing to do, both for kids and adults. Uh, just a small mention, as you know if you follow my uh, videos, I have this schedule which I really kept up with for a time at this point which is uh, Wednesday and Saturdays are speed builds and Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday are mod videos. Um, that's not gonna go this week <laughs> because of the new DLC. I really want to get a lot of videos out for you and I don't want to wait and build. Uh, when I get new stuff, I want to use it right away and I also really wanted to build a lot in this too before it crashes. So this week I really want to just focus on building. Uh, so these videos will come out wrestling in between the new videos uh, again because I have modded props in this zoo. I won't be able to access it after the new DLC unless every single mod I have used gets updated for the new. If it was only the animals, the, then when I remove the mod, they would disappear. But because I have mud props, that is an issue. So just a short mention that there will come more videos from in here, but, but they will be pre-recorded. If I am able to go back in at a later stage to access this zoo, then I would love to go back to it. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit different this week and after that i probably gonna mix in some videos from the zoo combined with that. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, only speedball this uh, week, but I think at least one a day if I know myself. Maybe more than that, but uh, yeah, as you know if you follow my videos, I really don't know how to limit myself. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're gonna have fun uh, and I'm, yeah, I'm happy about it. So I hope you are too. I feel like that was the best decision I could make here. Anyway, today we are talking about donkeys. The mud I'm using here is the North American standard donkeys, uh, but I'm not gonna focus too much on that because all donkeys actually have the same forefather which is the Somali wild ass. No matter which donkey it is, again, this is a North American one. They also have a lot in China, uh, 
and different places around the world of course also african countries um but also countries such as nepal and ethiopia pakistan mexico and so on but there are though living in very different places so they still have differences in between and therefore there are multiple subspecies of donkey but basically they all come from the same place they are all domesticated so to put it into perspective for me it seems like they are a little more like uh, breeds and not that much um, subspecies but they are classified as subspecies but then of course we need to ask ourselves if they all come from the somali wild ass who live some places in africa in some african countries i mean um then how did they get around the world and why do we actually have so many different of them if they are just a dust domesticated version of a somali wild ass now some domesticated animals became domesticated like a hundred years ago but the domesticated donkeys actually date back six thousand years ago in the ancient egypt northeastern africa and from here they were basically sold and bought just like i'm sorry to say it but slaves and moved around the world sometimes on land sometimes over water um but basically sold and bought and thereby their uh, areas that had them increase vastly kind of the same way that a lot of uh, countries today have livestock such as pigs and uh, bovine like cows and stuff because that doesn't mean that they live there negatively at some point some people just decided to bring them home and that's the same with the donkey probably in the beginning it may have been the richer part of the population that had the money to travel there and bring such a big animal home but over time they became more commonly and mostly they were used to as work animals so they could help pull a wagon you could ride on them they could uh, help with farming like pulling tools through a field um and then as pack animals which i think most of us um think about when we think of donkeys they are however today also hobby animals which means some people just have them for fun or they have them to style them and make them pretty or something like that again today animal trade have become something very diff different from what it used to be because they have been sold around the world and lived there for a lot of years and generations at this point it isn't weird that they have adapted to a lot of different climates which includes both tropical arid uh, temperate and very cold areas depending on the subspecies again that's what i would call breeds because if they are for generations have adapted to areas such as north america and especially the north north part of north america that's very cold and for generations for donkeys they will be more furry have longer hair thicker hair like that and if you have donkeys in uh, for instance pakistan or mexico they will be adapted over generations to these more drier warmer areas however there is some populations of wild donkeys to find still which are placed in africa and the arabian peninsula i think it's pronounced and here you can find these wild donkeys um but only in these areas every single other place that claim to have wild donkeys either isn't actually donkeys or they aren't um 
what's it called or they aren't uh, truly wild again you can release them into a secluded bigger area but they won't be truly wild just because of that however when it comes to conservation which you know is kind of a big deal here on my channel they are actually both blessed but also cursed in a way because they are actually not evaluated is the listing they have on the IUC and red list not e evaluated which means that this isn't an animal that even have been looked at for the IUC and red list so they won't keep an eye on is it least concerned is it critical endangered is it however uh, but this is probably because they are domesticated uh, so the population will be confined to what people are choosing them to be so when people want them to breed they will breed when people choose not to breed them they won't breed so therefore there's nothing the IUC and red list really would be able to do about it anyway if they got critical endangered at this point the numbers are as high as uh, 41 million individuals around the world However, this isn't a new cal calculation, it's from 2006, but it's possible that there's became more or less since then. However, the biggest population is in China at this uh, point where the calculation took place. There are also other uh, places around the world that have big populations of donkeys which would be places like Pakistan, Ethiopia and Mexico however as we already know the North American standard donkey is um, from North America of course so we have a lot around the world uh, some countries may have a few some countries have a lot but the numbers aren't uh, disappearing anytime soon as it looks like today.
yeah guys that's pretty much it uh, I don't remember if I said that I'm not sure which videos will come out today tomorrow today I know this this video but tomorrow the next day because it depends about how uh, what my computer wants first of all with sometimes I have issues when there comes a new DLC it takes time to download and stuff um, so I don't know if it will be a video from here or a, a new video with the new DLC I have no idea and it will be like that the rest of the week however next week I may be back to doing mud reviews Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday and speed bills Wednesday Saturday if the mods start rolling in again a lot of these mothers also want to play the game so I, I won't come after them for taking their good time to play with the game a little bit before going into all of the mods again but yeah everything is up in the air here the first couple of weeks but I hope you're here for it and I really hope you are happy with the new DLC and if you aren't planning to get it yourself I hope at least you are happy with what me and other youtubers do with it so uh, yeah you know the drill guys like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time i upload a video i really hope to see you again at the end comes below or in the next video bye guys